Welcome to Jerry's Movie Review Channel. I am Jerry. Today I am giving a summary and review of the movie Insidious, The Red Door. As always remember there will be spoilers. Patrick Wilson continues to impress with his dedication to the Insidious franchise, both as an actor and now as a director in Insidious, The Red Door. As a long-standing figure in the Conjuring series as well, Wilson showcases his talent behind the camera while reprising his role as the protective father, Josh Lambert, from the previous Insidious installments. In a delightful surprise, Wilson also showcases his singing abilities by performing a hard rock number with the Swedish band Ghost during the end credits. Who knew he had such a talent? The Red Door marks the fifth and supposedly final chapter of the Insidious series. While horror franchises often leave us skeptical about their promised conclusions, this movie manages to provide a satisfying wrap-up to the Lambert family's story. Having been absent since 2013 when the focus shifted to prequels centered around Lynn Shay's character, Elise Rainier, the Lamberts return with a lot of changes in their lives. Dalton Lambert, played by Ty Simpkins, has grown from a possessed little boy into a brooding 19-year-old art student starting college. Josh, Wilson, and Renai, Rose Byrne, have separated, and the loss of Dalton's grandmother, Lorraine, who played a crucial role in saving him from evil spirits, adds to the family's struggles. The film opens with a hypnotist scene, effectively erasing memories of a year from Josh and Dalton's lives, a fascinating premise indeed. The concept of hypnosis and its consequences are swiftly explored, with memories resurfacing effortlessly during Dalton's meditation exercise in his painting class. While the film briefly touches upon the theme of artists creating supernatural works, it primarily delves into the depths of inherited trauma and mental illness, a theme we've seen before but handled decently here. Wilson's direction ensures a handful of genuinely chilling moments in the film's first half. Drawing from his experience working with James Wan, he skillfully delivers the jump scares that horror fans crave. Particularly noteworthy is an early scene where Josh hallucinates a ghastly old woman while trapped inside an MRI machine, which effectively ties into his ongoing struggle with fatigue and brain fog. However, as the story shifts towards the college-centric plotline, the red door gradually loses its momentum, leading to a somewhat underwhelming finale. Visually, Wilson stays true to the misty atmosphere established in previous films, and the incorporation of Tiny Tim's tiptoe through the tulips in a room full of broken dolls within the further adds a nostalgic touch. The film strikes a good balance with its jokes, supporting characters, and a PG-13 rating that utilizes creative substitutes for explicit gore. Wilson's performance as Josh remains strong, as expected, given his genuine investment in the franchise. While some callbacks to previous Insidious films feel half-hearted, The Red Door manages to deliver an enjoyable and satisfying experience for fans of the series. Overall, Insidious, the Red Door showcases Patrick Wilson's talent as both an actor and director, breathing new life into the franchise. With its intriguing storyline, effective scares, and a satisfying conclusion, this fifth installment proves to be a worthy addition to the Insidious universe, leaving fans eagerly anticipating what comes next. I hope you enjoyed this review, if you did please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.